good afternoon everyone in the last uh, lab few uh, people asked about recursion how to implement the recursion of uh, uh, linear search and binary search so i'll show i'll i'll write the program parallel and we'll execute the program we'll see how it will be executed okay so i'm writing the program you also follow if at all if you get any doubts there you ask me okay <laughs> Who else uh, executed? The, uh, okay, but who will not executed? I'll be I'll be explaining the code one by one, and I'll be showing you what is like how it will be done. Okay. <clears throat> is the screen is visible? Yes. Yes, yes sir. sir. So I'm writing a. Uh, Linear search. So here only I'm implementing the function. So as it is a recursion, we should have some return type. We should not have a white return type. So which type of return type we should have? So in uh, a linear search. Okay. Here I'm passing. I'll be passing uh, in first one is array type that is AF array and next in the key element the searching element or key element as you wish or else for self for the size and after that I'll pass a key element and after that I'll pass an index <clears throat> okay so now implementing the logic so first what is the base condition where i can stop the logic where i can stop the logic first i'm writing base condition before that i'll be writing for example if at all uh wait So, what is the linear search? How it will be going on? For example, there are the elements. Uh, five, uh, three, two, six, seven, nine. So these are the elements. I have to search for a given element seven. Whether seven is uh, like uh, equal to five or not. Whether three seven is equal to three or not. Seven is equal to two or not. Next seven is equal to six or not. Seven is equal to seven or not. I'm going to. If the element is formed, element is formed. So I have to. So what is it now? What is the? I have to return the value. I have written the which value? I have written the index one, two, three, four, five, six. So I should return this index. Sorry, this is zero, one, two, three, four. I should return this index. So after returning the index, you you may like you may show the position by adding one value, or you may show the index value as you wish based upon your request. But what is the base condition here? I have to like uh, I have to find if the element is found. I have to return the uh, what is it? I have to return the index. So that is the thing I'm going to write here. So if if what is the first step? What is the index? What is the index here? I equal to equal to the I which I passed there. So from from there I'm going to pass equal to equal to a key value. What is the value I want to search? Equal. Okay. I what I'm going to write? I'm going to return that index. 
index. Done. This is my base condition. I'm going to stop that. Else, where I didn't find that for given index, I'm not going to find in the given index. Given index, I have to increment the index. Is that right? I have to increment the index and I have to call the same function recursively. I have to call the same function recursively by incrementing the incrementing the index. How should I do that? That means how I can do go with the else. Else, if it's if it's not true here, I'm going for else in else condition. Else condition, I should repeatedly check whether next can I can I go with the next or not. So here I'm writing y i is less than or equal to n minus one n minus one. Else return the return. What is it? Call the function that is a linear. What is a linear search? Linear search with a incrementing the index. Incrementing the index. First, I called a array a and next size n after that key and after that increment the index. So now i plus one is incrementing the index value. So this is done. This is incremented. Then, if the if at all the element is not found, element is not found. Then what should I do? Element is not found. What should I do? So come out of this block and return minus one. In the logic that in the uh, function in the main function, you write a logic that you write a logic that if at all the uh, index is minus one, element is not found. Index is minus not uh, minus one. Element is not found. Else. You're going to write what is the index that is position or index. Okay, so we'll see that. In the morning, I've done that. So the main function I've done, that's the reason I'm taking the main function, reading the elements to here. So size, enter the size of array. So now after reading, I have to read the key value also. So here, key value. So here, search, instead of here, I'm taking search. You can take same name as you wish, but I'm taking a search. That is printf, enter, search element. Can percentile D percent such and I have to start index from zero. So that's the reason you can start directly, you can give index value of zero in the input in the function call. Input in the function call. Now, so I'm searching for the element. So here when I call the function, it returns the minus one or the position minus one or index of the particular element there where the element is found. But how should I catch that? So I, I, I'm going to take that value, but it is a minus one. The element is minus one. It is like, what is the value which is there? This is minus one. I'm going to say that uh, element is not found. So you can write in the other way also, but I'm writing here. If of, if of, Linear search of I'm going to call it x first value the x next uh, and where it is in size that is size of an array after that key value here which is a search I'm going to start my index with zero okay that is equal to is equal to minus one element is not found so here I'm writing Printf element is not found. Now else printf element is found. At location or your index or anything you can write. I'm writing position. If I'm, if I'm printing a position, what should I do? 
What should I do here? I should click. Okay, sorry, I have to call. So I'm going to get the value. So here, by using this linear. Okay. Percentility, position, percentility. And this position will be returned by this one. So, done. Now, I have to make this plus one. If I want to index, you can directly write. So, I'm writing here position. So, position will be printed. Okay, this is lead research. Any doubts here? This is my logic, simple logic to read the size and to read the searching elements. And if the element is returning, the so Pipatali is returning, so else if the element is found that what is the key value I want to find is equal to the key value, I'm returning the i value that which is a position. Else, if I'm, if I'm not going to find that, I'm going to increment the index value and I'm going to call that function. What I'm going to do is if the, sorry, uh, here, if this element is equal, so okay, I'll break it out. I'll, I'll, I'll call, I'll return the values. If the element is not found, I'm going to increment the index value and I'm going to check with the other index. The same way, the same logic I'm going to write. Same situation. Okay, this is normal. So then anything is not found, any element is not found. At last, it is going to return zero. Either it is not here, it is true, either it's not reused, so it's going to. Okay. Uh, sir, one screen is scroll down, sir. Sorry? Scroll, sir. Scroll down, sir. Scroll down. Uh, thank you. So it is asking to enter the size of the pattern. So I'm taking a six and it is eight, five, three, nine, one, uh, eight, uh, eight is eight. so four. Searching element, which element to be searched? Four. The element is found at the position six. Is that right? I got the element. Got it? Any doubts here up to here? You can implement any many logics, many uh, implementations you can do that. But this is the best best logic to be implemented. Any doubts? This main function is however you know it's just the sub function, the recursive recursive function which is to be implemented. You should understand how to. this is a base condition. If where I'm going to stop this uh, my uh, iteration, I'm going to stop the iteration. If the element is found, the element which is to be equal, I found. So this is the first case I would. General case. If the element is not found, I'm going to increment my index. Okay, so anything is not true. This is not true. This is not true. But to make something to return, if the element is not returned, I should. If this is not, if it's not going to this block, or if it's not going to this block, that means I didn't get any element to be found. Okay, therefore, which is to be this is. You can also write else if also else else also for you can write you can write it. Okay, so that is the case. Yes, so this is for a linear search. Shall I go with the binary search? Yes.
so here remember every time in the recursion function there will not be void as a return type void as a return type there will be only integer or float or some some value to be returned therefore so we are going to write some return type we are going to write some return type so int binary search and in the binary search i am going to pass my array and size and the key value key value and here what i'm going to pass is low and mid sorry int low and high okay so this is my inner loop this is a logic so what i'm what i'm going to do here first i'm going to find the mid value so what is the base condition here if the element is found so i'm going to stop for that first i have to find out the mid find out the mid value okay so for that for that what i'm going to do is like i'm going to find the mid Okay, so now what is the logic where the where I can stop this logic? If a mid equal to equal to a key, I want to find the key. Then return which one which 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 thing I should return mid value. I should return the mid value. else else what is the condition to go with the right side else a of that is a key value so under it instead of writing this i should write like this anyways is correct but the key value is greater than the mid value which is found which is to be found then what should i do i should change i should change uh, here so here in this case uh, the elements are there the element is found so if tell if i'm checking with the mid value if the which the value which is 1 to 2 1 to like 1 to uh, go which is greater than the mid value mid value and the element which is to find is greater than the mid value then which which should i which side should i go this side i should go and check. no need to check for this side no need to check for this side i should check for this side okay this is the value you have to check it this this time this type of value for this time so therefore what is about to have to bring out the low value to here what is that low low value which is equal to mid plus 1 so in that case you call this function recursively call the function binary function recursively recursively same function and that is like a size key and low value should be what is the low value mid plus 1 and what is the high value the same high value no change in the high value so i'm going to call the binary search again okay next else then what should i do where in this else where where we go with else case when we go with else case else case is like uh, if at all uh, uh, we are going with a, a less less than the key value is less than the mid key value is less than the mid then what we have to do what we have to do what we have to do so we have to go with the right side so left side so then what 
I'm going to call the binary search where this is low itself. And I'm going to change the high value is equal to mid minus one. Okay, this is done, but perfectly when I go with else, else. But where should I go if at all anything is, like I don't find anything. So where, where, what is the logic I should write? What is the logic I should write? If I not find, I'm not going, not going to find anything. Not going to find anything. So then what should I do? Uh, uh, here you can write like after completion of everything, after completion of everything, you can write a return, return minus one. This can be done. So when we are, we are going to return minus one, if this is not true, if this is not true, and this is also not true. However, in some cases, it will be true. So, but when we are going for this case, when we go with this case, that is it. So anytime we are not going to get a, a value. So you can write this or else you can implement this function if of, if of key, else if of key is less than, yeah, meter. This way, and here in this case, else if you can write like key is not equal to not equal to a of meter. We're going to write this is only this is the case. You can do this, or else that is the that is also can be done. That is also can be done, but I'm not going to do this way. So I'm going to do this. That is like return minus one at last. Not going to find the limit. So this is like the same thing. So I'm going to copy the logic, save. And the paste here because the same, everything will be same. Because here only the change the binary search search binary search and I have to pass here uh, search low So what is the low here when I go I'm calling low equal to size sorry, low equal to zero high equal to size minus one. So I'm going to call here x size search low and height. And I'm going to call here size search low okay this is the function so we'll see this yes. Few arguments. What is the few arguments? Okay. Enter the size of array. So I'm entering a six. So the, uh, what is the rule here? The element should be in the sorted order. Okay, seven, nine, uh, 16, uh, 18, 20. Okay, the six elements. And searching element I want to search is 18. Element is not found. Oh, shit, what happened? Sir, after else, if we should write return binary, no, sir. Sorry? Else if we, in else if block, we should write return binary search. Ah, yes. Sir. Yeah. 
is why no one is like uh, uh, concentrating on this no one is telling the answers See, element is found at the position two. So I'm printing the position. Therefore, element is found at the position. Okay. So very, 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 very easy. Look, don't think. So same thing what we have done in the normal way. So there have have done here recursive function. Like in the what is the logic for binary? What is we have done here? If the LC, what you have done? Low equal to low equal to mid plus one the same thing but it is it is recursively iteratively done in the while loop but here we recursively calling the function so instead of low here instead of low calling the same function i've replaced the low with the mid plus one here also same thing i equal to mid minus one the same thing in the place of i i've replaced the function call <coughs> <coughs> sorry mid minus one okay then anything is not true so that means any any condition is not true i'm going to return minus one so that means i didn't get any value in the uh that is in in the loop in the array so that is the both any doubts any doubts sir can you scroll down This is same as like every function, you know, like what you're going to do. Almost same code I'm getting a uh, segmentation error. Somewhere you forgot, I think the ampersand. Ampersand or something you forgot, I think. The segmentation uh, maximum will get for forgetting ampersand or somewhere you're writing in the for loop wrong for loops so in that case you're going to get a segmentation error that Okay, shall I close? Yes, sir. Yes, uh, uh, like we have discussed, in, uh, we have discussed about arrays. What is an array and how to initialize an array, a static array, how to initialize a static array. And next, uh, we have seen a, a different example of an array. There are multiple programs, there are n number of programs on array. If you are sitting and doing the array programs, it is not enough to implement that. So we have many number of the, the, yes, some of the programs uh, we have implemented. Uh, after that, we have seen uh, we have seen the searching and sorting elements, the sorting of the sorting algorithms. In that, we have seen uh, binary search, uh, linear search, bubble sort, and uh, linear sort, uh, linear uh, sorry, uh, selection sort. So these are the four things we have discussed in this uh, sorting and searching algorithms. You all uh, you you will be getting these again in the data structures, but you will be implementing these things by using a. Uh, python i think uh, in the next semester but we'll be getting so what is this uh, time complexity how how you're going to take how much it is going to take uh, what is the space complexity is going to store so everything you're going to see in the next uh, semester in the uh, data structures concept but so that is a good part but 
as a part of applications of array we have seen those things okay we have seen those things okay so now next we will move on to the two dimensional arrays two dimensional arrays so in this in this lab i'm going to take uh, uh, first session as a class after that i'll allow you to implement your programs because we are lagging behind the syllabus because in the next monday you are going to have a uh, exam on the matrices that is in the two dimensional areas also that's the reason i'm trying to take the class i'm trying to complete the two dimensional areas okay so please uh, listen to this class very very important and if at all anyone is missing this class please uh, uh, mail them or message them or text them to come to add the uh, come to join the class okay there is important concept after in the arrays we are going to discuss this two dimensional arrays you know we have discussed one dimensional arrays next we are going to discuss two dimensional arrays two dimensional arrays if someone your friends are missing please uh, message them to join as because possible because this is very important concept in the exam the mid exam we are going to get this concept in like we are going to get this as a syllabus you are going to get questions may also be arrived that's the reason i'm trying to explain this a concept okay that are you ready for the class yes yes what happened uh, uh, today are very less for less members in the class as well as very less uh, like act activeness in the class i'm not getting it perfect uh, replies from you people like, what is that what is the reason trying to debug my code okay what about others he implementing code okay okay stop that and we are going to discuss this uh, two dimensional arrays i'll give the time after the, uh, uh, amount 40 minutes after 40 minutes i'll be giving the time okay so half an hour i'll not be taking more than half an hour because we don't have a time because next uh, uh, we have only the two classes to be explained so this is the class we have and next this is a lab actually so next we have wednesday tomorrow's class first hour and thursday second hour in the two classes we are not going to complete this uh, two dimensional arrays so that is very very important the two dimensional arrays what is the two dimensional arrays i'll be giving in the introduction here after that we'll explore what is this two dimensional arrays programs and everything so first see that what is the two dimensional array so we have seen there are uh, uh, 1d arrays and 2d arrays and multi dimensional arrays Yes, so multi-dimensional array. These are the types of arrays. But as a part of that uh, program um, syllabus, you don't have this multi-dimensional arrays. We have 1D and 2D. We have seen up to now. We have seen one-dimensional arrays, and we have seen maximum of one-dimensional arrays. So, like, but all any example comes, you can do on your own. So you think in terms of the uh, what is the logic going on arrays and how implementing. Remember, we are going to do everything by index. Remember. index is the powerful tool we are going to use in the arrays so index everything we are going to do every operation or anything we are going to do in the arrays by using index use powerful tool called index in the array and by using index you implement all the operations on the arrays operations what you want to do anything you think in terms of array index so that becomes you are easy for implementing any program or writing any logic for the program Okay, the index is the powerful tool in the arrays. By using index only, we are going to use, we are going to track out, we are going to take, like, uh, access the element, everything in array by using index only. So therefore, implement your program or write a logic based upon the index. Okay, next, two D arrays. What is two D arrays? Two dimensional arrays. two dimensional arrays two d arrays is a two dimensional arrays so two dimensional arrays what be two dimensions so we're going to think in terms of perspective of in the perspective of two dimension that is one this direction and this dimension so what is this dimension what is this direction dimension we'll see that 
So up to now, we have seen only in one dimension, that is one dimension that is this way. So only in the order of this way. That is called as, that is called as a vertical line, in the vertical line. Now we are going to see in terms of horizontal as well as vertical, horizontal as well as vertical. We are going to think in terms of two perspectives and try to write in the uh, program in terms of two perspectives. So that is the motto of two dimensional arrays, two dimension arrays. So two dimensional arrays is the arrays, arrays is a type of array where it is having it is having a two dimension that is a row size and column size a row size and column size row size there is column size that means up to now we have seen only the columns With, within one row one row we have seen number of columns we have divided the number of columns but now we are going to divide that into rows number of rows and there is equal number of columns not equal number of columns or rows as well as columns we are going to think in terms of two perspectives two perspectives that is two dimensions two dimension okay two dimensional 2d array yes. is an array yes. consists of two sizes that is row and column size, row and column size, row as well as column size. How you're going to write? That is a data type with which data type you want to declare space and array name. What is the array name you want to define? For it, it is an identifier and followed by two indexes that is two sizes where first size is r size second size is c size c size r size is row size where r size is row size where c size is column size c size is column size a data type, an array name, row size, as well as column size, row size and column size. Here, if at all, if I'm declaring an integer type of two dimensional array, int a of three and three, it can be a different size, but remember, as to be made easy, so I'm taking the same size, it can be two different sizes of uh, your row size and column size they are three by three so you have three three they are three three so what is the three is the row size three is the column size so first rows and columns so now when i declare in t of three by two three by two totally totally Six variables will be created. Will be created. So when I say when I say int one dimensional int a of three, how many variables will be created? Three variables will be created. The three variables will be assigning a memory. But where here six variables will be created, or which six variables will be assigning a memory, assigning a memory. That is what is the, how we are going to check. That is three into two, six. Three into two. The three rows and two columns. Three rows and two columns. What is this? Okay. Three rows, one. Two, three rows and two columns. How many elements I'm going to write? First element, second element, third, fourth, fifth, six. Total how many elements I'm going to create? Six elements I'm going to create. Six elements I'm going to create. If I'm going to write A of three by three, nine elements. A of three by four, 12 elements as a wish. 
Okay, so that is for the size of this. So what is the advantage of this uh, two dimensional arrays? By mentioning the lowest size, we are going to create a many, we are going to create a uh, more, more variables based upon the same variable, based upon the same variables. And the other advantage of is, arrays is, that is two dimensional arrays is implementation, or, or uh, calculation on matrices of matrices as well as pixels in the picture pixels in the picture this is one other one but whereas uh, this is one of the thing we are going to do we are going to implement here in this uh, here in this uh, syllabus, the implementation of our calculation of your matrix matrices. So that is matrices where we have learned your mathematics and mathematics. What is the matrices we have learned? All the calculations are everything we are going to implement. What is, what is the performance we have done and the calculate matrices that we are going to do implement by using a two dimensional arrays. Another one reason is by using a simpler sizes, we are going to create a much more number of variables, much more number of variables and this is used for the image processing also one of the implementation where it can be used for image processing also because the image will be in the two dimensions where it will be having a pixels where it is having one two three pixels the smallest pixels will be there so that can be done that can be also done done by using the two dimensions but Okay, but C is ma mainly implemented. C is like by not not by using a C, not by using a C. We are going to implement by using a Python or Java. This pixeling that is uh, the image processing we are going to implement. We can also do by C, but C is uh, nearer to the system system application that is system programming. So we are not going to. This will become some. Um, so harder to implement, but whereas Python and Java will be easier to implement. Therefore, the Python is very like, used. But Python, in the Python, we are going to use the two dimensional arrays. Remember, okay, two dimensional arrays. That is, here I'm, here, here I'm telling is, but two dimensional arrays are used. How the two dimensional, not how the two dimensional arrays of C used. I'm not telling you for that. Two dimension, general usage of two dimension arrays. General usage of two dimensional arrays. But here in this C program, by using a C programming language, language of 2D arrays, arrays are used for implementation of matrices. Implementation of matrices. Okay, now we are we are going to see how implementation will be there. Okay, that's it. So now, so what is the thing we have uh, we have seen here? Only the how to declare a two-dimensional array. How to declare that is in a data type and the name of array and two sizes that is row size and a column size two and three. So you can do anything. So two and three. This is two by three. So when I say this, when I say this, how many variables will be created? Six variables. What are those six variables? What are those six variables? I'm going to write that those variables. So in the in the in the one dimension array, if I'm writing, if I'm going to write a of ten, what are the variables will be created? A of zero, a of one, a of two, and so on. A of nine, a of nine, ten variables like this will be created. But when I write two dimensional arrays, how the variables will be created? What is the variable names will be created? Okay, these are two indexes. This index. A row index and this is sorry when i write like so it's not index i can i should not say this is index sorry this is a this is row size and a column size row size and column size column size. but what the variables will be created six variables will be created i said so what are those six variables they are as I said, 
so as a a of zero zero a of zero one a of zero next a of 1 zero a of 1 1 a of 1 so these are the six variables we have created how did i write c f so this is this is when i say this is this so this is the column index this is the row index so when is zero Starts. We remember index starts from zero, one, two. The column size. So this is the column are three columns. Therefore, zero, one, two, three columns. And row size are two, zero, one. The combination of zero, zero, a of zero, zero. The combination of zero, one, a of zero, one. The combination of zero, two, a of zero, two. Combination of one first. That is row, first row, the second row, and first column, a of one, zero. The combination of first. Uh, sorry, uh, second row and second column. A of one one. The combination of second row and third column. A of one three, one two. A of one two. These are the variables. So remember, then how the values will be stored. That is how the uh, memory will be assigned. How the memory will be assigned. They will also be in the same linear structure only, linear way only, not in the others. In illa under do they will not be uh, like storing in this. Way of this way, so they will be storing only in the linear fashion. In the memory, I am telling about the memory, the perspective. We are thinking the perspective of two dimensions, but when it comes to the memory allocations, memory allocations will be done in the consecutive memory locations only. What is the consecutive? How the consecutive memory locations will be done? First one, A of zero zero. Second one, A of zero one. Third one, A of zero two. Fourth one, A of one zero. Next, A of one one. Next, A of one two. This way. That means after comparing the first row, we'll go to the second row, and after second row, we'll go to the third row, third row, fourth row, fifth row, like that. They'll be storing in this order. They'll be storing in this order. So this is the linear way how the elements, however, they'll be storing in the consecutive memory location. Are successive memory locations. Okay, so this is how they will be stored. But when it comes to the memory, they will be in the internally. Then in the memory they will be allocated like this. But in the perspective, we are thinking in this way. So that is there is in the two dimensions. We are going to access by using these two dimensions. We are going to access. When it when it comes to when a this one a of zero and a two. This is called as row index. This is called as column index. Row index, and this is called as column index. Row index as well as column index. Tell me if at all if I'm writing in the three by three, how many variables will be created here? How many variables will be created here? Nine. Nine variables Nine. Will be created. Nine variables will be created. Which how many rows and how many columns? Three rows and three columns. With the three rows and three columns. Three rows and three columns. We will see how it will be there. So I am writing here. One, two, three. One, three. So here. So that is zero through. 
zero through first column, first column. This is not for column, column, sorry, column. First column, second column, third column, first row, second row, third row. Okay. The first element. What is the first element? A of zero, so zero. The next A of zero, one. A of zero, two. Next A of uh, one, Z. Sorry, cut a wrong grass. So no one is telling. Ever concentrate chat la. Zero, one, two. So this is one and zero. And this is one and one. This is one and two. Uh, this is two second. That is third row and zero to call. Here, this is a uh, second row and first second call. This is third row, third. So, so when I say elements, when I insert an element, the elements will be stored here in this memory, particular memory. But how the memory location will be there? Allocation will be there. This is the first row. First row, it will be as it is. Next, it will be second row. Next, it is third row in the memory. Then memory allocation will be done. This is how variables will be created in the memory. Variables will be created in the memory. Memory, when it comes to memory, they'll be all in the same one, one line only. But we are going to be in the perspective of two dimensions. In the perspective of two dimensions. First, we'll see how the initialization can be done. So first, initialization, how to initialize the value. So static initialization. First, we have given here, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So how many elements I should, I can give? Nine elements. Therefore, so I've created nine variables. So nine elements I can give. So where, what is the representation of this? The row one, this is row two, this is a row three. You can give it this way, or else you can also give one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This way, but the compiler chooses the compiler chooses as. First three as the first first row, second three as the second row, third three, next three as the third row, next row. So that is the how. So if at all, if you want to miss any element here, you cannot miss. For example, if you want to miss here in this element, you can miss out, you can leave out and you can say there is two elements here in this first row, the next three, four, like that you can do. But here, uh, if at all, if you're missing out one element here, uh, the compiler thinks that first three elements uh, for the First three elements for the first row, second three for the second row, and the next remains. Like that it goes on. Like that uh, one row, one element will be remain at last. So this is where to initialize this. Okay. And next. Can I initialize with maximum size, with, uh, like more than the size of an array? Yes, you can also initialize one, two, three, four. And one. Four plus five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When I when I do this, only the first three elements will be taken into the row. The third element will be will not be considered because the size is given three. Size is given to fix as three. Okay, that. Whether I can initialize the without size. So in the one dimensional arrays, without size, I'm going to initialize one, two, three, four. Five, six, like that. How many number of elements I want? But can I initialize without any size in the two dimension? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like this. Can I do that? No, you cannot do this. But at least one size should be there. What is not at least the column size should be mentioned. Column 
साइज शुड बी मेंशन मेंशन कॉलम साइज शुड बी मेंशन यू हैव टू मेंशन हाउेवर यू हैव टू मेंशन द कॉलम साइज बट ऑल इफ यू मेंशन द कॉलम साइज थ्री कॉलम साइज थ्री तो फर्स्ट थ्री एलिमेंट्स आर फर्स्ट रो सेकंड नेक्स्ट थ्री एलिमेंट्स नेक्स्ट रो एंड द नेक्स्ट तो दिस लास्ट एलिमेंट विल बी कंसीडर एज जीरो कंसीडर एज जीरो लाइक दैट सो दैट मींस विदाउट साइज वी कैन इनिशियलाइज बट द एट वन साइज शुड बी देयर व्हाट इज दैट साइज शुड बी देयर कॉलम साइज शुड बी देयर कॉलम साइज so if if at all if you are not giving the row size it is also it's also okay but you have to give the initial uh, you have to give the size of a uh, column size you have to give the size of column size without that we cannot initialize cannot initialize okay so but this can be done so if at all this a of 3 and this can be done cannot be done in the declaration this can be done only in the initialization this can be done only in initialization so where you have to give the values that You have to give the value there. This is about initialization of initialization of two-dimensional arrays. Initialization of two-dimensional arrays. Done. Any doubts up to here, everyone? No, sir. Okay. Any others in the class? Everyone, I'm asking to everyone. Just it has the same as arrays, but we have two dimensions. We are going to think in terms of perspective of two dimensions. The memory allocations will be same as the one dimensions only. But the the uh, reading and the writing the elements we are embodied in in the terms of two dimensions. In terms of two dimensions, that's it. next how to read individual values individual values in two dimension directly using the index index row index and column index that is for all if a of 0 and 0 the first value we are going to read second value a of 0 1 for all if i am declaring 3 by 3 And zero, and two. This is the third value. Okay, third value. First value, second value, third value, and fourth value. This is one, zero, and one, one. And they are one, two. Next, two, zero. They are two, one. They are two, two. So this is like this. Okay, so directly using the index, you can assign the value. For example, a of zero is zero equal to five. I'm going to directly assign the value. A of zero two is equal to six. I'm directly assigning the value. So a of one one seven. I'm assigning directly assigning the values. Individual values. I'm going to assign individual values. You can update the values. If at all there is already the element is there. Of uh, a of zero zero one is the element is there already. If you if you are giving uh, there is a ten is there. If you are giving uh, nine here. The ten will be updated to nine. So you can update the value directly using index. You can insert the value by using the index directly. Index values by using the row index and a column index. Row index as well as a column. This is uh, assigning the individual values. Writing the individual values or uh, giving the individual values. Okay. Then how to print the values? Same individually you can print the values. A of zero zero. I'm printing. I'm trying to print a of zero zero percentile. Yeah, zero zero. Uh, I'm going to get five as output. To print a next percentile D, yeah, zero one. Next element. What is a nine will be printed. So like that. So individual element. to print out individual element directly take the index of individual elements. You're going to print. But how to print all the elements? All the elements of an array. How to print all the elements of an array directly? Directly by using the for loop. 
by I can do by using the for loop. That I can do by using the for loop. How I can do that? How many how many variables I should use in the for loop? How many for loops I should write? Two for loops I have to write. Two for loops. loops I have to write because so inner for loop and outer for loop. So inner for loop and nested for loop is can be used. How you how you have printed like for example if the array elements you have printed um, uh, your sorry uh, what do you say there is uh, patterns. Let's take the pattern is like one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four like this. How you have printed this pattern by using a by using a Mr. Perl, the same music, same logic we are going to use in the uh, sorry, same logic we are going to use in this year in the RS also. RS also. How we how we are going to do that? One for loop for changing rows and one for loop for changing columns. Yes, one for loop for rows and one for loop for columns. Remember, see here. So when first when I write the row here, this is the row. When it is a column, the row value is common, same for here, 0, 0, 0. But column value is 0, 1, 2, incrementing. For first row, it is incrementing. If I come to the second row, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. This, for this, this is the second row, 1, 1, 1, 1. The next time it is iterating, 0, 1, 2. Where the, here in the third column, 2 is common and 0, 1, 2 is iterating. That means where if I write a for, this is outer loop zero. I'll start when I value should row value should start with a zero and end with a n minus one. I less than that is the size my size. What is the size? Uh, if I'm giving the size is three, uh, let's take this directly size. Don't confuse with that. A three. So where I'm considering R three by A three by three. So and I plus plus for I'm taking another variable called j, j equal to zero. Again, zero has to be iterated one starting from the zero to the size minus one. That is j less than a three. This is a column size. Remember, this is a column size. This is a row size. If the, if the elements are a three by four, how would it be that? A of zero, uh, zero. A of zero, one, A of zero, two, A of zero, and three. That means so the first row for the first row, I this is common and it is repeating same up to n minus one. So therefore, less than three. So where the column size represents this one, the row size represents this one. This is the row size, this is the column size. So I less than three, j less than three, j plus plus. And print a print a percentile D A of I and J, where the outer loop represents a row size, row, row loop, and the inner loop represents a column loop. Column loop. We'll see, we'll see and check it whether it is coming as it is or not. See it. first zero. 0 less than 3. Yes, it is true. When it is true, what is the i value? It is i value 0. So next we are going to this loop. So j equal to 0. j equal to 0. So 0 is less than 3. Yes, it is true. Next print f percentile d. A of first I'm printing a of 0 and a 0 value. First I'm printing a of 0, 0. The next I've completed the statements here. Uh, did I go out of this loop? No, I'll go out of this loop. Then I'll complete the logic. Uh, I'll, I'll exit, uh, exit the condition of this. So next j plus plus j value increments to 1 and 1 less than 3. Yes, it is true. When it is true, we should go to the statement print a personality a of ij. What is i value? Same. Did i value change? No, i value same. 0. And what is the j value? 1. So I've completed the statements. I should go to the incrementation. So j value becomes 2 and 2 less than 3 as it is true. Next, go to the statement. Personality, I'm going to try to print a of 0 and a true. And after completing the statements, I should go to the j plus plus. So j value becomes a 3 and 3 less than 3. It is false. I will come out of this block. This loop. I'm coming out of this loop. But did I come out of this loop? No, it did come out of this loop. Next, i plus plus. i value becomes 1. 
now again it is one less than three as yes, it is true. again j starts from a zero j starts from a zero so zero is less than three again yeah one zero next yeah one one like that it goes on it goes on this is how to write how to implement and how to write first uh, writing a logic directly i'm writing a logic how to how to print the denominational array i equal to zero i less than this uh, i'll write directly what is Uh, row size. I'm writing R size is equal to row size, and I plus plus. Or J equal to zero. J less than or J less than C size. What is C size? Is column size. K plus plus. Next. Same printf logic. Printf. I'm printing one element at a time. The result percentage here. I J. Close this. Close this. So to print a space slash. T. This is to print a two-dimensional array. Then how to read the two-dimensional array? Same logic. We have to read the same logic by using I equal to zero. I less than R size. I plus plus for J equal to zero. J less than C size. J plus plus. Here I'm going to write a scanner percentile D, and here I'm going to write ampersand of F by F J. Close this. Done. This is a reading. This is printing. Then how to declare? Declare a maximum size. Maximum size that is a yeah, ten by ten. That is it may be hundred. When I say ten by ten, you read a row size. You read a row size from the user. Column size from the user. Take that row size and take that column size. Or else, I want to take statically and put it statically. Is good. Yeah, three by three. Ante. Three by three. Directly instead of in the place of row size, write three. The column size, write three. Okay, this is the logic. Any doubts? No. Okay. So, for example, if uh, uh, elements are reading here only, so for example, I'm telling so here only. Direct like in your two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This way I can give, or else I can give a up three by three equal to one, two. Uh, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. This is like for example. <laughs> now I'm trying to print. Uh, you 
Sir, you didn't give comma before last brace, sir. Before okay. last set. Before last set, sir. Four, five, six brace, comma. Uh -huh. This prediction is better than. I is not taking expected expression. Based on some past data, past definition data available, and some prediction are very interesting. This is like one of the apps in the city as well. So these things are very interesting. I mean, when these particular admissions are done, I think I should have said one and one admissions. Now, after we give you the new data ads, you know, the prediction are very good, has to be updated. One minute, I'll, I'll, I'll come back. The prediction are very good, has to be updated. I want an artificial intelligence engine which can learn even a time is small. No matter of fact. But you know, what I want is I want an intelligent application to the same prediction. Uh, I do not want a uh, static, but I want a computer which builds. You know, uh, say for example, uh, you know, say some JAX code, you know, some universities in university there. Someone who gets. Uh, uh, so it is accepting only when I, when I say. Uh, it is accepting when I say it is into type A. So I'm declaration as well as the initialization, accepting the both at once. So it is not accepting uh, separately. So when I say it is like. Uh, so it is accepting without uh, a declaration and that thing, it is not accepting. Like, for example, if I close this. So declare in three, so it is not accepting like this. So it is not accepting. So it is not accepting. So therefore, so I have to declare it once as well as initialize. Because so it is thinking that the, there is another variable which is taking this another variable which are initializing. That's the reason. Okay. So array values are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So same thing. I'm going to trying to print this one instead of this. 
So that is also will be the same. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then if I'm going in the dynamic phase, how should I do? The same logic. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Today array value, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So therefore, how to read arrays by using a two for loops? How to print the arrays using a two for loops? Okay, so what did I use the 3D? So 3D will be assigning an equal number of uh, like, uh, size, uh, spaces to print that. So that's the reason I have three, three spaces after that will be taken to print. That is the reason to print this. So this is how two dimensional array will be read and two dimensional array will be printed. Okay. So this is about a two dimensional introduction to two dimensional arrays. The so next class will uh, implement the programs on the two dimensional arrays. So so I'm stopping here up to here, but you have to implement uh, these four programs. What are the pro four programs I've uh, uh, given in this lab? Okay. So I wrote a post session program. So complete chain. You have to complete and show me and uh, take the attendance and go. Okay. Any doubts? So we'll discuss next thing uh, continuation of two dimensional arrays in the next uh, class. We have two classes. So yeah. yeah, someone is. Uh, any doubts? Sir, Chipnana, tell me. Sir, to print those in a matrix form, should we add a new line character? Yes, new line character. Here, if I'm printing a um, slash n. So it will be printed. Crash. Sorry. Baju ko options aati hu upar. Log go to upar. Your voice is breaking. I can't hear. Can you repeat again? Sorry. Sir is not talking to you. Sir. Oh, net ka nahi upa. Oh, server wasa karta. Server wasa. Ah, oh, bhaiya, sir, bhaiya, thoh jara starting mein pura hai na, wasa chhota jara. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Ah, bhaiya, sir, upar hota hai kya? Kya kya upa? उनको सामी आपको मिसाओ मैं करा आता हूं कब बात होता है उन्हें हां करा है मैं बोलूं पर तो वो भी डेट का भी व्हाई डिड आई गेट लाइक दिस हियर आई डिडंट गिव योर न्यू लाइन कैरेक्टर इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट सो इफ आई गिव हिम हियर ओके तो चलो यूजर नेम और पासवर्ड क्वेश्चन दैट आई डोट नो बट दे है न्यू लाइन कैरेक्टर इन द uh for loop after first after inner loop we have to write the, this one because what is this inner for loop will do will print out first column after printing a first column we should go for a next line yes what is the matrix for first we have to print like this way and after that we should go so after this what is the inner for loop will do will print out the column so after printing the column we have to go for the new line after new line increment the uh, row size and print that next row that is that uh, Total call row of next row of the column. 
and next after the new line next printer like that it goes on okay this is for printing the um, two dimensional array in the matrix form so this is the logic for printing the mat uh, like array in the two dimensional so two dimensional array in the matrix form sir this we can do by using normal arrays also no sir then what uh, then what is the difference between that sir practically can we do this by using a normal array yes sir we can add new line character also no sir yes or but... without using an array also we can yes but there are they are they are in the terms of row and columns so here we are th thinking in terms of row wise and column size and we cannot make one array to add to the second array there for example if at all if i am doing the matrix operation matrix operation of addition so what is the addition has to do so for example uh, where is the ppt <laughs> Sir, is it possible to discard memory? Ah, uh, it is not possible to discard the memory. Array memory cannot be discarded. So, what is the matrix addition? Uh, one, two, three, four. And if the addition is doing uh, one, two, three, four again, this is a matrix one. This is matrix two. Let's take this is array one. This is array two. in the implementation of addition addition so we can rightly write a of 0 plus a of 0 to so this is the array one this is like a1 this is b1 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 so a1 of 0 0 plus b1 of 0 0 the morning if that's true i have to add this element with this element this element the first element of this with this first element of this so i'm going to get the answer here but this should be repeatedly done this should be repeatedly done for the for loop for the implementation of the for loop so can we do that in the one time flare we cannot do we cannot perform because we cannot uh, make a implementation of the first element to the second uh, first element of the first first matrix the second element in the second matrix third element in the third uh, same the same matrices fourth element fourth element we cannot match in this one dimensional arrays and if the elements are like in the matrices in the uh, in another for example the multiplication for take for there is a multiplication is that 1 2 3 4 this is a 2 by this is 2 by 2 matrices and i should write i'm writing a 2 by 3 matrix if i'm writing a 2 by 3 matrix can i do that multiplication yes i can do so where the sizes are different this this array is different this array is different where i can do the multiplication of matrices because the rows uh, both are same the uh, this one is column size is same i can do the multiplication i'm going to get the output as 2 by 3 matrices 2 by 3 matrices but in the in the terms of arrays we cannot do single dimensional array we cannot perform any operation which is the both are in different sizes both are in different sizes so therefore the two dimensional arrays are the very like very uh, easy to implement the two uh, matrices okay so as you said like uh, yes that is true what you said is true so what is like so if at all if i'm uh, writing a one dimensional array and if i'm trying to print in the um, like uh, matrix form you can do that but you cannot how you how we are going to do that so taking a three elements first three elements to be uh, for example there is a, a one dimensional array 0 1 2 3 4 5 like that first three elements in the first row second three next row like that but where where should i start this division where to end the division for for loop to write the, uh, for example for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus where this is the five size and print uh, uh, percentile d a of i so where i can write a print f slash n someone asked the question i don't know who has asked but can i write like this if i'm writing like this can uh, will i get this same output no i'll not be getting first value will be a of 0 second will be a of 1 third will be a of 2 a of 3 a of 4 a of 5 like that Can we? Can I divide by row and column sizes? 
no i cannot do that no sir that's a reason okay sir got it okay remaining people you implement this the dot four programs very easy programs i have already shown that how to implement and uh, please uh, please implement the programs and show me so uh, i'm going to mark your uh, attendance by using this seeing your programs okay yeah. sir i have got one doubt sir where i have execute, executed the programs can i share the screen ah uh, look one minute i'm stopping the share yes share it are you able to share akil oh yeah okay yes sir ha uh, where do, where do you have a doubt no sir i have completed whole code but when i compile it uh, It's letting inverse order, sir. Like it's giving the inverse order of the entry. Then somewhere you have made a minimum element instead of minimum element. You have tried for a maximum element. Take out this. Close the output script. Uh, yeah. So here, with uh, the line number twenty-four. Um, it, instead of less than, you make it as greater than. Yes, sir. Even though it's um, getting same, but you have close it, close it, close that output. Yeah, yeah. Five is less than. So that is less than only. You take it as less than only. That is less than only. But where did it gone wrong? That it should be a of j less than a of. Yes, a of j less than. Yes, a of j less than. Uh, save the program in other prog other place and compile it. Okay. So it's getting increasing order, sir. Sir, sir, am I audible? Yes, but there should be some difference which has to do the work after. So we have to find that difference in the website, the difference in the research article, the difference in the blog, the difference in the sentences. Sir, am I audible? Are you anyone said anything? Like I was like I was in the call at the call. Yeah. Okay, you're getting same thing. Sir, I'm getting like this, sir. I it's getting reverse order. I mean, decreasing order. <coughs> reverse order. The symbol he should change. Less than instead of less than he should create them. Y minimum equals to y of i, sir. In line twenty nine. <laughs> Come down. J also. Can you go to J also? Twenty, twenty, thirtieth line. Go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
थर्टी एथ लेस Yes, sir, it's getting now. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm going to say that you know, uh, raise the positive rate. Okay. Okay. So, Anyone is like that? Your honor, any any doubts or anything? Positive rate has started. Positive rate has started. Positive rate has started. Then the next one is going to be blue. Then the positive rate rate goes down. So the dashboard is going to be blue. Sir, for me. Say screenshot. Yes, you are not getting the answer. You are getting answer. Not getting, sir. Uh, unsorted forty-seven. The sorted elements are forty-seven, seventy-five, forty-three. Okay, show me, show me the code. You're trying to uh, copy in somewhere or some any other array. You're trying to copy in any other. Don't copy like that. You could have no. <clears throat> Remember, see. What are you doing in the nineteenth line? Don't want to change the array. Yeah. Remember when you when you send the array from here also here to there also, you're creating another instance. You're passing the values from here to here there. However, however, you can use the same logic, same uh, array, no? Next thing. Call the function. Remove this for loop here. <clears throat> Remove the for loop. Second line and third, second line and first line. You're trying to print us. Ah, unsorted. Okay, okay, unsorted. Okay. Uh, there. Okay, close it again. Show me the logic for sel uh, selection sort. What is the first first one? What is this first first? In the main twenty fourth line, twenty fourth line. Top top to the top. At the twenty fourth line, ah. Huh? Okay, okay. To the in the min. But you are going to find that minimum find minimum element. You are going to find. You did right. The first logic after the function. Pass uh, in the array in the in that you are going to find the minimum minimum. Uh, yeah. Okay, function you called here. Uh, when you call your function, minimum function, min function. Here and here, sir. One minute. Uh, J plus J equal to I plus one. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, starting with one J less than size. 
అన్నెసరీ టేక్ ఇన్ ద ఫంక్షన్ నా మిన్ ఫంక్షన్ అనవసరంగా తీసుకున్నావు ఎక్కడ ఇంప్లిమెంట్ చేస్తాయి మళ్ళీ మిన్ అనేది మనం విఆర్ ఇంప్లిమెంటింగ్ బై యూజింగ్ అ టూ ఫర్ లుక్స్ కదా యు ఆర్ అన్నెసరీ టేకింగ్ దట్ లాజిక్ యువర్ ఇంటెన్షన్ ఇస్ వర్క్ వాజ్ కరెక్ట్ బట్ విఆర్ ఫైనింగ్ ద మిన్ మిన్ అలాంగ్ విత్ దైక్ స్వాపింగ్ ఇన్ ద ఇన్ ద ఫంక్షన్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ లాజిక్ ఓనేనా దట్స్ రీజన్ బబుల్ సార్ రాస్తున్నావు నువ్వు change all the logic okay sir did you get that adam what is the thing of ikkada selection sir ikkada ochin sir ha ikkada ga idu aaledu uh dartu uh you 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 have separately call the minimum function minimum min that was very good idea but when it's when it's like uh calling the separately what happens is we are not going to get the same thing because this array will be created second instance the instance will be created uh-huh. separately that array will when you call the function when you call the function you are going to create another instance of another array and in that array you are going to find the minimum minimum value okay that's the reason we are not getting the logic you not got it not getting the problem did you get this what i'm trying to tell you yes sir
yes rule number 71 <coughs> yes sir have you implemented the four programs yes sir done yes sir initiate them yes sir everyone be ready with your programs Sir, can I send the PDF words, uh, screenshots, sir? I'll send it right now. My, my, uh, they, 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 in, in they, my programs are not getting executed. I did, did it in the online compiler. Okay, next 72. 72. 72. Sir. Done. Four programs executed. Completed, sir. Completed, sir. I will share. Through our chap, I will share. 73. 73 absent. 74. Sir, I'll share them to you in the WhatsApp. Why not? I could share them. Give me what to them. Share them. 75. Sir, may I share? 76? No, no. 76? Yes, sir. Sir, I'm sharing, sir. No, I sent you. Okay, 78. Sorry, 76. 77. Yes, sir. I have done three, sir. One more is left. What, what is the Using function? No, sir. I'm doing it. Selection sort using function. 78. Sir, I'll share it also. Okay, share it. Yes, sir. Fast, be fast. I have to check others also. Okay, next. Meanwhile, uh, 79. Sir, I will send it through WhatsApp, sir. Now it's it. 80. Sir, you can share it, sir. One minute. Uh, share seven, four programs, share seven. Uh, uh, 81. Yes, sir, sir, WhatsApp will send it, sir. Or... Uh, pump it, sir. 81. Completed, sir. 82. 82. Absent. 83. 83 absent 84 sir last one is remaining i'll do it and send in whatsapp okay 85 done sir i'll send it in whatsapp 86 yes sir 87 yes sir 88 done sir 89 done sir 90 I'm doing, sir. I did the 2D one, so it's a bit late, but I'm doing it. I didn't ask 2D. I asked only the four programs which are uh, sorting techniques. The functions one I'm doing, sir. Do it fast. You don't make the pending. Yes. 91. Sir, complete, sir. completed, sir. But just now I messaged you, you know, sir. That one again showing error, sir. 92. <coughs> 92 absent. 93. Completed, sir. 94. <coughs> Completed, sir. 95. Completed, sir. 96. Good absent. 97. 97. <coughs> 98. 99. Completed, sir. 100. Complete. 101. 101. Completed, sir. 102. Completed, sir. 103. Sir, last one, sir. Almost done. 104. Completed, sir. 105. Completed, sir. 106. Completed, sir. 107. 108, 107, absent. 
చూపి కొత్త కొత్త ట్రై చేయ ఫస్ట్ నువ్వు ఫస్ట్ నువ్వు నార్మల్ చేసి తర్వాత కొత్తగా ట్రై చేయి వన్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ డన్ సార్ వన్ ట్వంటీ నైన్ కంప్లీటెడ్ సార్ ఫోర్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ వన్ థర్టీ సార్ వన్ ప్రో వన్ లెఫ్ట్ సార్ వన్ థర్టీ వన్ వన్ లెఫ్ట్ సార్ హౌ మెనీ లెఫ్ట్ వన్ లెఫ్ట్ వన్ రియలీ ఆడిబుల్ సార్ shall i check yes sir 120 132 sir last one almost done sir 133 133 last even all done all done okay sir 133. Last. Okay. <coughs> so, done annaru vallu mottham bettal na check chesi nenu మళ్ళీ ప్రజెంట్ యాబ్సెంట్ చేస్తా ఎనిమన్ ఇస్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎనీ డౌట్ యూ కెన్ ఆస్ మీ ఆర్ ఎల్స్ యూ కెన్ లీవ్ లీవ్ దిస్ ల్యాబ్
Sir, seventy seven. I completed all. Should I send you pictures? Yeah. Okay. Sir. Excuse me, sir. No, no. Two D array is the right lane, sir. Two D array is the. Oh, sorry. Code choose that. Ah, choose. Sir, sir. Here, sir. I got I J. Got it, na na. Scan of I J. M N got it, got it. Index is not there. रात लेन सर इंदा करने से इलाने अस्तित्व में सर क्लोज से मतलब आह ये प्रोक्सर है माली सेवेस पर वेरी ने वेरी पेड पर नेम चेंज है इंदा अपने डॉट से पेटल्स नॉसन लेना ना किंतु ने चेंजेस है ओके हम्म ओके सर हम्म रात लेते हैं सर फ्लोस चेक सर इकड़ एम्पसेंट लो पेटल का ना पर्सनालिटी
ఒకసారి సేమ్ కోడ్ ని ఆన్లైన్ కంపైల్ ట్రై చేయి ఆన్లైన్ కంపైల్ ఓకే చేస్తా సార్ లేకపోతే చెప్తాను సార్ ఐ కాంటాక్ట్ ఇన్ వాట్సాప్ థాంక్యూ సార్ సార్ ఒకసారి సెలెక్షన్ సార్ట్ లో లాజిక్ ఒకసారి చెప్తారా చెప్తాను కోడ్ చూపించాలా ఓన్లీ లాజిక్ చూపించాలా లాజిక్ చెప్పాలా ఓన్లీ లాజిక్ సార్ స్క్రీన్ విజిబుల్ అవుతుందా ఎస్ సార్ ఫస్ట్ టేక్ ఎనీ నెంబర్స్ థర్టీ త్రీ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ అండ్ ట్వంటీ ఎయిట్ సిక్స్టీన్ అండ్ థర్టీ దీస్ ఆర్ ద నెంబర్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ టేక్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఎలిమెంట్ యాజ్ అ మినిమమ్ ఎలిమెంట్ యూ టేక్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఎలిమెంట్ యాజ్ మినిమమ్ ఎలిమెంట్ ఆఫ్టర్ దాట్ from the next elements after this element which you have taken you compare the elements in between these elements which is the minimum element check for the minimum not the minimum element, no which is the minimum index you compare the minimum index by using a minimum logic for j equal to uh, i plus 1 if it all i value i less the j less than up to n i plus plus and you know how to check minimum so here you check for the um, instead of writing in the logic we are going to write if a yeah, of what is the uh, element is uh, we are going to compare with the j is less than a yeah, of min actually then replace that a uh, yeah, of j value to min this is to find the logic uh, to find the minimum so after that we have to sub after finding the minimum index what is the minimum index i found find that in next this this i'll be replacing 13 45 and 28 16 and 33 every page now i'll start from here i'll think this element is the minimum element now and re- this remaining element i'll check and check for the minimum element in this remaining elements which i have thought from the minimum elements i'll check so what is the minimum element? same logic i'm going to apply and i'm going to get the minimum uh, index and using that minimum index i'm going to swap out that is 16 28 and 45 and 33 next i'm going to go for this i'm going to check this element is the minimum minimum index element and again i'm going to check for this elements which is the smallest element i'm going to swap out this element is so there is no there is not there is no minimum element like than this so i'll i'll let it be like that i'll not going to for the swapping next uh 28 and 45 and 33 sorry i'll this this element i'll check for this which is the minimum element. Yes, 33 is the minimum element. 13, 16, 28, and 33, and 45. So I replace this. So up to here only, I'll not go this. So that means n minus 1 only. The iteration I'll do, the swapping iteration do up to n minus 1 only. Therefore, this is the dot. So that is, the elements are in the sorted order. This is the logic I'm going to have So this is to find the minimum element. After finding, I'm going to write the logic for sum. And for that, I'm going to think i'm going to re- repeat this logic for all the elements from starting with the zero and n minus 1 and i plus plus and i'm thinking first element which is the element i've started that is the minimum element and i'm going to apply swap using this element swap between a of min with the a of i this is the logic yes understood yes Okay, can I close the meeting? Yes, sir. Everyone, any doubts up to here? Uh, like keep it all if you have any doubt. Sir, I don't have a code online. I don't have a code online. 
Uh, send as it is a code to me. I'll, I'll, I'll check it. Okay. Okay. Sir. WhatsApp. It. Send it. Ah, okay. Sir. Muzammil? Yes, sir. Any doubt? Sir, one sir, selection is not sir. Code should be in, sir. sir. So once you scroll up, sir. Sir, I want up, sir, and that selection sort function. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Ah, ah, done. Okay, sir. Got it, sir. Okay. Done. I'm sh I'm stopping the this and I'm stopping the function. Yes, sir.